Hi, in this episode of the beginner's guide, I'll continue with another color tool, Threshold. And I'm guessing that a lot of you are wondering exactly what this tool does. How can you apply it in your work? So in this tutorial, I'll show you different ways of how you can put this tool in practice. Now I'm going to turn off the preview here for a second. In a digital photograph, we have highlights, shadows, and midtones. And with this tool, we can very quickly check if we have overexposed or blown areas of an image of a highlight, or we have underexposed areas in the shadows. When we have overexposed clipping or blown highlight, this means that the pixels are completely white. So I can grab this slider here, turn on the preview and move it all the way to the right. And now the pixels that are completely white are showing as white here. And if I cancel this, grab the color picker tool, hold down the shift key and click. And you see here that we have a completely white pixel I can also check this by going to the foreground color, which the white was assigned when I shift click. I can click here and again see that I have a completely white color here, which means that this highlight here is overexposed. And this is something that you normally don't want to have and might want to fix. I'm going to go back to threshold and check the shadows if they're underexposed. So I'm going to grab this slider first and move it all the way to the left. Then I'm going to grab this one all the way to the left. And now the pixels that are completely black became white. Let's turn on the preview. You see here, over here, and if I grab again the color picker tool shift click you see we have a completely black pixel so like i said a very quick way to check if you have correct exposure in your image now let's move on to the next one another way we can use this tool is when we are isolating something on a white background and of course when we do that we usually want to leave only the object some shadow or a reflection and everything else we want to be completely white and sometimes we may miss something when we are editing and right now here you might think that this is completely white but it's not I previously used the brush tool and uh, painted over on very low opacity in this area here I don't know if you can see this over here and now I can use the threshold to check my image if something is left over. Turn on the preview and you see this shows here. So I can grab the brush tool with the white color for example and remove this. And then I can go and check again. And you see I have some more left over. I'm not going to try to remove this right now. I'm going to move on to the next image and show you another way of how we can use this tool. And uh, this may come as a surprise to you, but we can actually use this tool to make selections. Of course, depending on the image, you want to try to select the best selection tool for the job. But in this case, for example, if I want to select this guy, which by the way is overexposed and we can again use the threshold to check that you see the sky is overexposed but I want to select it I can grab the fuzzy select tool click and you see that I'm not selecting very well the sky so I'm going to undo that I'm going to duplicate the layer go to colors threshold and adjust this slider here to 
something like this click OK and now I'm going to grab the fuzzy select tool click here and then change the mode actually I was on add to selection mode so I can just click here now and then I'm going to delete this layer and this way I'll transfer the selection to the original image so a quick way to make selections depending on the image of course and a lot of times you may need to improve the selection using some of the other color tools uh, I'm sorry selection tools for example the quick mask mode and the brush tool you can improve the selection So that's it for this tool in this tutorial, if you like the video subscribe, share it, bye for now.